or like I don't know if you're familiar with like the kimchi premium so that's when like it was so popular in Korea people would pay a premium to buy Bitcoin oh really so, like, I've never heard of this tell me explain to me what the kimchi premium is so basically Korea like their society is like super like bleeding edge um, you know like they had like five South Korea yeah South Korea yeah. like they had like internet internet connection in the subway this was way back then like and like in the u.s we barely had like 3g yeah. networking yeah. super so like, on top of it <laughs> yeah so they were super on top of all the tech stuff and they had like adopted like the crypto market like massively so the thing about korea was like everyone's trying to buy it because like koreans are like naturally very competitive <laughs> like yeah. that's just like their culture so like everyone was trying to buy it and it was creating like this situation where um like the exchange would sell the, sell it to them at a premium. So like they'd have to pay extra for it. Okay. So it was super, super popular in 2016. And it was like so popular that I would literally wake up at like 4 a.m. and just trade like in the morning. And I'd make like- Because of the time zones? Yeah, I would like yeah. make like $3,000 a day, just like buying it in the morning and then selling wow. it at noon. That's insane. Um, and the kimchi yeah. premium, like it would get, the na the naming came from- from the food kimchi is there a reason it's called the kimchi no so it was just kind of like slang so basically oh. the news media just like gave them that uh designation because okay. like everywhere else you were buying crypto it was like fairly standard pricing but then if you're in korea like the price was like abnormally high so then wow. everyone was like commenting on the, they, they call it the kimchi premium so like uh the koreans yeah. were driving the market at that point in time. Interesting. I, that's fascinating. 